Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous video, we started with the creation of various things inside the windows and yes, for the first window, we created the text and in the second window, we created the template. Why template? because we have fixed number of rows and columns. And based upon our requirement, we divided the first row into four number of columns. We divided the second row into two number of columns. Now, just see. Now, we created a template inside the window. We have the template. Now, inside this template, we need to create how many text now text. Total, we will create six text, six text. One for SO creation date. One for the low value of creation date. One for two. One for high value of creation date one for SO created by and one for the value of username or SO created by. So total we will create six text inside the template template. Now major thing is what maximum people will do. They will right click on the window and create text. No. Now we need to right click on the template and create the text. This is the common mistake. Yes. So we will right click on the template and we will create total six text. Six. Create text. And description will play a vital role. So I will parallelly give that description also. This is our SO creation date. SO creation date label. I will go for next text. Low value of creation date. Or you can write from value of creation date. Now I will create third text and it is only only for two label. This is we only will print two, two. Now I will go for high. I am creating fourth text. This is our two value of creation date. Now I will create another text. Now this is our SO created by. SO created by label. Now I will create another text. This is our Value of username or SO created by. Value of SO created by. Now, we created six text inside the template. Now, never, never forget to give the row and column to each and every text. This is the common mistake, especially from the freshers. Do not forget to give the row and column to each and every text. So I will go to first text, suppose. I will go to output option. Now just check. Whenever I will scroll down, what is the row and column of SO creation date? First row, first column. So I will write first row, first column. I will go to next. 
वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ क्रिएशन डेट ये लो वैल्यू इट इज यूर फर्स्ट रो सेकेंड कॉलम नाउ आई विल गो फॉर टू फॉर दिस टू वट इज द केस इट इज अवर फर्स्ट रो थर्ड कॉलम नाउ आई विल गो टू टू वैल्यू ऑफ क्रिएशन डेट इट इज अवर फर्स्ट रो एंड फोर्थ कॉलम now i will come on to so created by it is our second row first column it is our second row first column now what is the value of so created by it is second row and second column so never forget to give that this line and column to the various text which you designed inside the template now we will go to various text and go for when we will provide the various values now i will go to so creation date i will go to text editor now i will write the various things using text editor i will go for go to change editor so here what i want to print i want to print so creation date and suppose i will write call and alls i will go for back now i will go for from value of creation date here it's this just a understanding now we want to print the low value of creation date you all know your value of creation date is coming from the report your value of creation date is coming from the report and for that particular thing you already took the import parameter in the If you already took the import parameter in the form interface of the smart form it means this particular variable this particular variable has the date so we need to simply simply print this see from the report you are passing the date to the smart form by using what form interface it means this has the date which is coming from the report so we will simply simply display this so how we will display i will go to text editor i will go for go to change editor now you all know very well whenever you want to display the values of the variables always which operator we need to use in the smart form m percent m percent whenever i want to display the values of the variable i will always always use m percent i will go to back now in the third text what i want to write i only only want to write 2 t o 2 so i will go for go to change editor now i am writing two suppose i will write in small now i will go to fourth text in the fourth text you want to print the high value of creation date so what is the variable name for the high value of creation date p underscore er dot p er dot underscore high so we will simply simply print that values are coming from the report and it is how smart form is getting those values through the form interface now i will print m percent p er dot underscore high i will go to back now i will go for next now in second row first column text you only want to print so created by so i will go to text editor
I will go for go to change editor and I will write SO created by. Now I will go to back button. Now I will go for last. Now what is the we want to print the value of username now. So what the we already took the variable in the form interface P E R now. You can see the value of username will come from the program and we are passing to what smart form. So in the smart form, what is the variable name we took for the username P E R num. So I will simply, simply display this. I will go to text editor. Go to change editor. So I will write P E R Text editor is always, always there. Now, I simply, simply provided the values in the six text also. So, what is the summary of this particular video? Inside this video, we created six text inside the template. First important thing. Do not right click on window and create the text. Right click on template and then create the text. After that, we gave the various rows and column position to the text. And we provided the various labels and the values in those particular text. And for low value, high value of creation date, it is already, we already took the variable names in the form interface. So we simply, simply displaying the values of those variable. Same is for user name. In the next video, we will come on to this part and then we will call the smart form from the program. Because our program is independent. Now we are independently creating the smart form. Then we need to integrate also both the things. That part we will continue in the upcoming videos. So that's it in this video. Thank you.